Good morning, this is Cindy. Welcome to Maker Monday. Um, although I am filming this ahead of time, by the time I you watch this, I will have been to my daughter's wedding. Uh, that's coming up for me this coming Saturday. For you, it will have been just a couple days ago. So I will put out a video later on this week and let you know how it all went. In the meantime, I'm going to talk about this little pinwheel. I love this little idea and it does have a card that can go in the middle. I went to a card making uh, workshop this past weekend with Nancy Burt Priest, and I will put that link down below because she also has a video on how to make these little pinwheels. And so I will, oops, I'm untucked. And I will show you, and so I'll put her link down there, but I'm going to show you today how to do these because this was really simple. It was so simple that the first two times I tried it, I screwed it up. So those are my fails. We're not even going to look at those. But then I did it again and I came out much better because I know my measurements now and I know how accurate I need to be. So today, this is the card that I made. I did not put the sentiments on it. It's a... Uh, just a single card. It doesn't it doesn't flip open or anything. You could put happy birthday down here or thinking of you or whatever. And then you could put something on the sentiment in the inside. I did not choose to stamp anything here because I don't know how I'm going to use this card and who I'm going to send it to yet. So at the moment, we're just going to leave that aside. That's my template. And we're going to take a look. I made two of them and I did two of them without... This was... Um, six by six paper that was has nothing on the end, uh, other side it's only a single sided print and i thought well let's see what it looks like with just the single side because not everybody has double sided this is a, a double sided piece this is from stamping up um this is just i don't know this is just scrap paper that i had that has single sides so I thought, well, I want to see what it looks like with just the white. And I actually kind of like it with the white. Um, but you could easily color the, the sides or you could distress along the edges uh, in some color. So um, you could put a little stamps. You could do all sorts of things on the white. But I'm going to set those aside now and let's talk about how to do these. I did this one actually out of a 12 by 12 that I cut into 6 by 6 pieces. They're white on one side, blank on the other. What I do like about these is when you open it up, it's already white inside. You don't have to put another card in there in order to make it white. But let's go ahead. You have you need a six by six, and believe me, it needs to be a six by six or an eight by eight or a ten by ten. Whatever size you want to do these, they have to be square. Uh, because that was my issue with this one in particular. It was, I thought I had it square. I was actually off by um, not even a quarter of an inch. And so, and it really goofed everything up. So you definitely want it to be six by six. So the first thing you're going to do is score all four sides at an inch and a half in. So I'm just going to take this. I don't have a fancy scoreboard. This is, I'm going to move my camera up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing up here and see my piece here. This is my old cutting board. It has a score on it. Maybe someday, I think I'm putting a scoreboard on my Christmas list, but at the moment this works all right. So I'm scoring in at an inch and a half. And let me take that out now and move that out of the way. And I'm done with the scoreboard. I have scored all four sides. I'm going to hold it up here so that you can see. I'll show you both sides. I have scored an inch and a half from every single side. So it's completely square. And my square is in the middle. Okay, the next thing I want to do ah, is drop my scissors in the garbage. Get my scissors out. Okay, and I'm going to cut out the little squares. I'm going to cut right on the score line because I don't need this score line out here. In fact, it's better if I don't have it. 
So I'm going to cut my squares out of the corners. Easy peasy. Of course, because I'm on camera, I'm trying to do a really good job. I have to concentrate some. So you end up with all these little squares, which really could be used in a nice little quilt pattern. If you make them enough of these, you, if you want to, this is the type of thing that you can fussy cut while you're watching TV. You can just cut these out. So you would score a bunch of them, sit there and cut them out, and then you have them all ready to fold. Easy. Like I said, this isn't really an actually an easy piece. So I have my little squares. I'm just going to set those aside. I have some squares from the other ones. So like I said, you can make a nice little quilt pattern with these. You can do enough of them. Okay, so now comes the part that I always goof up. I always have to stop and think my way through it. I'm just going to bend these up. I know um, because this is double-sided, I will want to put a piece of white in when I get to that point. Now I'm going to do from the same side every time. So what you want to do is come to your corner and I put my finger there so I don't rip it. And I want to come right to the score line. Then I want to turn it. I'm not moving my hands because I want to make sure I get the same kind of fold each time. And you can go down a bolt with a bone folder on this or your credit card just to give that a good strong curve if you'd like. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm just showing how to do this. Okay. And then I always have to stop and think about this part. You want to flip it over and you're going to start folding your pieces in. There you go. And then this tucks into here and you have your pinwheel. It's that simple. It is so incredibly simple. And then on, you can either put something, you know, put little uh, ephemera in there. You can uh, put a piece of that white piece of card in there and write on it. There's all sorts of things that you can do with this little pinwheel. I'm going to do one more just so you've got it. And it's actually really simple. Take your six by six and you score it at one and a half inches all the way around. Score at one and a half inches all the way around. So four to four scores and seven years ago, <laughs> sorry, couldn't resist. Then you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut out your quarters. One, two. This is the part that takes the longest, just cutting out your corners. And then depending upon how you fold it, you can have your color side in or your color side or and the white side out. I missed my score line there. Um, I'm going to go back and trim that just a little bit because otherwise it may not fold as well as I'd like it to. Okay. Yeah, you want to get right on the score line. Make your cuts. There. Okay. I'm going to add those to my pile. And then I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to fold down and turn. And I cut a little bit too far in on this one. So I want to be really careful when I fold it. That's the side that I kind of goofed up a little bit. And fold. Yeah, when you're doing your cuts, try to be as, as careful as you can. But you're really just making a... a Cross there. Okay. And then you're going to fold. 
And fold, fold. I got it backwards. Fold, fold, fold. And fold. In this case, now see, this is backwards from the other ones that I did. The other ones I did these with the white showing. This time I did white with the color side up showing. And then my when you open it up, the color shows inside. And when you open this one, the white shows inside. So you have a couple of different options. All right, and that's as simple as it is. That's how you make a pinwheel. And then you just fold it in. And then you just tuck in your corner. And there you go. There you have it. All right. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you, you're hitting the like button when you enjoy these videos because that's one of the metrics that YouTube watches. So go ahead and hit that like button and um, have a great day. This is Cindy signing off.